Good morning, good morning. All right, all right, all right. You know what time it is. You know what rhyme it is. Um, as usual, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button before we begin. Uh, you all know me, and you know what I do here. I'm A6, for those of you who don't. And what we basically do here is just get my opinion on stuff like that. So, um, of course, leave a comment because I like to talk to people in the comment section. Um, if somebody makes like a point or something, I like to ask them or inquisit them about what they were thinking. Or if I'm off about some information, I also like to hear about that. I also like to talk about some obscure things that don't really pop up on the news, so to speak. So with that said, um, just yesterday, I've been hearing about this over the last like five days here and there. It wasn't very constant. Very little people are talking about this, which I think is interesting. And I always tend to look at news that's obscure or not being addressed as much in the public eye, like certain little facets or pieces of information that's been left out of a lot of people's story. So what's making me very uh, inquisitive, I guess the word you can say, uh, if you hashtag the trend empty hospitals amongst all this stuff going on with this virus, this sickness, whatever you want to call it, and you look at some people's videos they're posting it's very interesting because people are posting videos of their, their local hospitals completely empty like you'll see like you'll see like they'll post like the outside inside the waiting room and like you'll look through the glass and nobody will be in the waiting room which is completely weird because they're saying all these people are sick and waiting to be seen and treated and all this stuff but you know, eyewitness accounts say different. It says basically these hospitals have never been slower. And I'm not sure why that could be because I actually have an aunt that works in a hospital and she's saying that um, it's pretty busy. But I'm starting to, look at, starting to look at this, both sides of this and wonder what's going on. But like, so like they're saying, hey, look, these hospitals are basically empty. The parking lot says nobody parked in the parking lots like that. Um, and people are posting this all over the world and then outside of the, like certain places where the testing centers are for COVID-19 they, they got the people there sitting there on their phones not doing nothing like just waiting for somebody to come along which means there's nobody there for them to help out now I'm pretty sure there's been some cases but I think pretty much everybody should be aware if something like this is going on that this is being blown out of proportion that we all know the media and the news take something to run with it because you know, it's free news for them. This is something they're going to be talking about probably for the next three months. But um, when you really look at it from a logical standpoint, it kind of makes you wonder, like, why, why are every, is everybody being allowed to panic to this, to this rate? And it's causing like a hysteria, man. Like people are losing their shit. It's crazy, and people are losing their jobs and all that stuff, all because people are afraid of what's going on. And that's just interesting to me, man, because. I always said like news is like the other branch of government, which is starting to look like that's true because they just take something and just completely beat it, beat it down. They're reporting it five, six times a day, emergency reports. The mayor will do an update on it. You know, the president will do an update on it and it'll all be like, you know, basically letting you know the shit is getting worse pretty much so far. That's what we've seen. And they're shutting down shit. People are losing their freedoms every day. You know, people are being told possibly there's word being spread that people might be forced to wear masks. Which is like, yo, that shit blows my mind. Like, the more and more every day this shit goes on, the more and more we're starting to look like China, man. Like, people are being forced to do shit. People are being forced not to go to work. What kind of, that's, that's just crazy to me, man. And being a country that's supposed to be about freedom, at least that's what our ancestors fought for in, in a civil, uh, civil rights era you know just seeing what happened there and then what's going on now man it's just blowing my mind that people are so willing to give up their freedom for supposed safety and it's not even really safety because there's nothing you can you can like people are, they're saying this shit is supposed to be spreading but everywhere I look people are home people are home every every time I turn around and go and look at somebody uh, somebody's neighborhood or something like that. There's a whole bunch of cars with people parked in. No parking spots. Everybody's home. Yet the virus is still spreading like wildfire. So if, if like a population, if three million people are out of work and people aren't out there partying like that and having as much fun as they were, because it's significantly less people. 
you can say whatever you want there are less people out there partying right now than they were when people uh, weren't sick with this whole thing going on there's actually more people being it's being spread faster it is crazy to me that that's happening so how can that possible how can it be possible if you had a majority of the population staying in a house or not partying as much or not congregating as much you still got some people but like by what they're saying is if we st have most people stay in the house it's gonna slow down how the hell is it, is it speeding up it don't make sense so i mean i don't know man it's, like i said i don't know what's going on bro it's something definitely weird but i'm just asking people to think a little harder than what they've been told on the news because yo news is starting to blatantly lie about shit too like i'm seeing certain uh <clears throat> politics and stuff like that where they're actually blatantly lying like they're telling people shit that straight up isn't true before it was like a spin like they'll tell you some shit But it'll be like a right wing or left wing spin depending on which news you're watching now It's just like yo, they just completely making up shit So I don't know man I say watch that shit man because don't take that shit as law Because I, I don't see it as being law at all at this point. I actually didn't before too, but now it's even more so So I also saw that I forgot the dude's name that weird uh, troll looking dude that uh supposed to be Donald Trump's advisor or something like that for the uh the whole virus situation and this dude I had saw I only saw a clip because I stopped watching Trump's speeches because they get repetitive he doesn't have like much of a big vocabulary he doesn't really say anything more than what he has said the day before so I, I don't watch those as much anymore I stopped watching them last week so dude um gets on and says yeah he, he basically says some shit where like the virus looks like it's a, a affecting uh, African American people more than uh, other people. And he was saying that he remembers when the gays fought off some disease or something like that. He basically compared, he compared blacks to gays. It's fucked up. I hate, yo, when people do that shit though, that shit, I'm not surprised because he's a fucking racist. Most of those motherfuckers are racist. But like, yo, when you compare blacks to gays, yo, that just makes me stop listening to everything you have to say completely. I don't even argue with motherfuckers who say shit like that no more. Because at that point, if a person is making that point, they too far gone to even help. There's no point in even saying nothing to them. Just discontinue the conversation. So he continues and says, oh, um, and so they overcame the virus. And then it made the public look at them differently. And I have confidence in them because of that. So basically he's saying, fuck you niggas. Good luck. Y'all are all right. Y'all be all right. Y'all going, a lot of y'all going to die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Like that guy from Shrek and shit. So, and he basically leaves it there. Like, bro, like I don't want to hear that shit. Don't tell me that. I don't know, man. It's, it's just a lot of question marks going on right now. I have full intentions of driving to probably a couple hospitals around this area and finding out exactly if people are in there or not because let the news tell it people are like lined up all the way outside to get inside those uh those hospitals and get tested because everybody's sick leave it to the leave it up to the news that's what's going on with the hospital but eyewitness doesn't count it doesn't say that man so i don't know do your own research that's all i'm saying people all right, so that's pretty much it. And, um, you know, again, I appreciate it. If you can like, comment, subscribe. These are my thoughts on the to topic currently at hand. And it is a nasty day out here, so let me focus on driving before I end up in the tree. All right, y'all, peace out. Take it easy.